Welcome to my presentation. This presentation is part of the playlist integral of logarithmic functions. In this presentation, we will be explaining the rules related to integrals of logarithmic functions and also solve some example problems. Let's look at the rule related to integrals of logarithmic functions. So let u be a differentiable function of x. Okay, so integral 1 over x dx. We can when we integrate 1 over x dx, it's going to the rule is stating that we need we can write it as ln of x plus c, where ln is the logarithm and uh, uh, c is a constant of integration. So this is called the simple logarithmic rule, the simple log rule. We can also state it as simple log rule or simple logarithmic rule. The other rule is as follows. If we have integral 1 over u du by dx dx like that, integral 1 over u du or we can also write it that way, and then the rule is stating that when we have a function of that kind, uh, it translates to ln of u plus c. This is called the general log rule or the general logarithmic rule. So these are the two types of rules we have related to um, integration of logarithmic functions. So let us look at some example problems. Let us say we want to evaluate this logarithmic function integral 4 over x dx. We are going to use the logarithmic rule to solve this example problem. So since 4 is a constant, we are going to take the 4 outside of the integration process and then write this as 4 integral 1 over x dx. So we know that integral 1 over x dx is equal to ln of x since we have a 4 four times ln of x plus c, where c is called the constant of integration. As we know, whenever we complete, a, the, complete the process of integration, we're going to add the constant of integration uh, in terms of c, as shown here. Let's look at another simple example. Let's say we want to evaluate this function, integral 2x divided by x squared dx. We're going to use the the logarithmic rule to solve this example problem. Integral 2x over x squared dx. Let us substitute u as equal to x squared. The x squared is in the denominator for our in our example problem. So since u is a function of x, we can differentiate the function u with respect to x. As shown here, du by dx is equal to 2x. We know that d by dx of x squared is 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1, which translates to 2x. Then we can also write this the same expression as du is equal to 2x dx. I brought this dx to the side of this expression 2x. I can also, if I have, if I want to express this in terms of dx, I can write it as dx is equal to 1 over 2, 1 over 2x du. Now we have now we can substitute u as equal to 2x. We can substitute u as equal to um, we can substitute u as equal to x squared. This should be there is a small mistake here. And then dx as equal to 1 over 2x du into the given example problem. And then we can uh, we, we can uh, use the rules of integration to solve this example problem. So let us see how we can write this. Our example problem is integral 2x over x squared dx and then um, 2x over wherever we see x squared, we're going to write it as u and wherever we see uh, dx, we're going to write it as 1 over 2x du like that. So as you can, as we can see here, we have a 2x in the numerator, we have a 2x in the denominator, those cancel out. We are left with integral 1 over u d, du like that. So now we know the rule of um, the rule of logarithmic, uh, the logarithmic rule is telling us that integral 1 over u du translates to ln of u. And then when we finish the process, we're going to add the constant, constant of integration c as shown here. Now, 
we want to always be able to express our solution in terms of x, not in terms of u. So we want to come back and then replace whatever we have um, said u is going to be equal to. We said u is going to be equal to x squared, so therefore we're going to replace uh, u as x squared. So this is going to be equal to ln of x squared plus c, where c is the constant of integration. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to evaluate this function, integral 3 over 3x plus 1 dx. Okay, so now we want to substitute u as equal to 3x plus 1. And then since u is a function of x, we're going to differentiate this function u with respect to x. du by dx is equal to 3. So as you can see, d by dx of 3x is 3 d by dx of 1 is 0, so 3 plus 0 is 3, so I did not write that, so I just left it as 3 here. So du by dx equals to 3. Uh, I can also rewrite this as du is equal to 3 times dx like that. So d, I brought this dx to the side of this expression 3 here. I, if I want to express this in terms of dx, I can write it as dx is equal to 1 over 3 du. Now we can substitute u as equal to 3x plus 1 and then dx as equal to 1 over 3 du and then substitute that into our given example problem and then use the rules of integration to solve this example problem. So let us see. Our given problem is integral 3 over 3x plus 1 dx. So wherever we see 3x plus 1, we're going to replace it by 3. We're going to replace it by u and then wherever we have dx, we're going to replace that by 1 over 3 du, like that, okay? So now, as, as we can see here, we have a 3 in the numerator, we have a 3 in the denominator. Those terms cancel out, leaving us with integral 1 over u du. So we know uh, from the rule of integration, uh, from the rule of logarithmic um, function, that integral 1 over u du translates to ln of u, like that plus c, right? So we want to be able to express our solution in terms of x, not in terms of u. So wherever we see u, we're going to replace it by 3x plus 1. That is what we started uh, to um, substitute u as equal to. So <clears throat> we can rewrite this one as ln of 3x plus 1 plus c, where c is the constant of integration. So this is the way we're going to solve example problems related to integral of logarithmic functions. In my next video presentation, we will be look we will be looking at some more we, we will be solving some more example problems related to integral of logarithmic functions.